We're here today in Bloomington at Guardian Headache and Pain Management Institute, and today we'll be talking about CAD syndrome, more commonly known as whiplash. Today I'm joined by Dr. Benjamin Tamarazzi. Hello. Hi, how are Hi. you? Good, nice thanks. Day. Thanks for having me. All right, well, whiplash, uh, you know, I think about neck aches, headaches um, associated with car accidents. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, is that one of the most common ways to get whiplash? Well, in this day and age of uh, high-speed motor vehicle accidents, um, contact sports such as football, uh, this condition has jumped into the forefront of our uh, medical conditions that we see either in the emergency rooms or in pain management setting. Okay, so even though, you know, I may get a headache or neck ache, CAD syndrome, which we'll tell you what stands for in just a minute, or whiplash, it's really an injury to your spine. Exactly. So basically, as you said, CAD is cervical acceleration and deceleration syndrome. What implies basically what it implies to is that the head, which basically is uh, supported by the neck, violently because of a trauma, for instance, a rear end collision or a sports related injury or from an acute fall, uh, the head whips very violently and suddenly front to the front and to the back of the cervical spine and pushes the cervical spine past its normal range of motion. That by itself can cause many, many sensitive structures in the cervical spine. Okay, so say, you know, um, I was feeling I was in an accident mm -hmm. or something and I was feeling some pain. Mm -hmm. What are some of the signs and symptoms of whiplash? Well, the uh, signs and symptoms of a whiplash injury can be either very immediate, so right after the car accidents you will have severe neck stiffness, shoulder, neck pain, and headaches, or it can be delayed by a few days. So within the first week, though, if you do not have any signs and symptoms, you may have been lucky. That's what I should say. Okay. But it doesn't mean that years later you will not have the, the pain in the neck that ha has resulted from the prior accident. Because these, this type of trauma can uh, damage small structures in the cervical spine. These small structures are called facet joints. And facet joints are prime targets for this type of uh, injury. Uh, the surface of the facet joints is covered uh, with a very fine type of a cartilage. Mm -hmm. So initially you may not have any type of pain or uh, signs or symptoms, but years later, uh, also when you are getting older, the natural part, uh, process of osteoarthritis can accelerate this condition and you, start, you will start having neck pain and headaches with that. Okay, so treating this, some people might think, you know, oh, I'll get better, it'll go mm -hmm. away with time, but there's actually ways to treat this and, and why is that important? It is very important that after the initial injury, you may need to support the neck with a soft collar and that will reduce all of that irritation in the cervical spine, you, you probably will benefit from anti-inflammatory uh, medications such as Motrin, ibuprofen, uh, with physical therapy. But once it becomes chronic, then that's when we come in and there are very important and very uh, minimally invasive procedures that can help with this type of uh, condition. Okay, so some people might think, oh man, I've had this for a long time, I was in an accident, I have pain for a while, mm -hmm. but I don't want to get surgery. Mm -hmm. You have options here at Guardian Headache and Pain Management Institute to help take care of that? Definitely. Uh, one thing I should point out is um, a whiplash injury is one of the most common causes of what we call a cervicogenic headache. Cervicogenic headaches basically means that when following a trauma, when you have injury to these fine structures, you will develop a form of a headache which is almost indistinguishable from migraine. So you may be looking at neurologists, you may be checking with your primary care physician and being treated for migraine while all along you don't have migraine. You have a headache that basically starts in the upper parts of the cervical spine and then radiates. It, is, it will be a throbbing headache with nausea, with light sensitivity, with all of the manifestations of a classic migraine while it is not migraine. The best way to treat this condition is to address the nerves of these fine and small joints and basically use a specific device that shocks these nerves and controls the pain roughly for about nine months. Okay, sounds like you guys know what you're doing here. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. My pleasure. Guardian Headache and Pain Management Institute is located in Bloomington at 2203 Eastland Drive, Suite Number 7. You can also call them at 808-1700 or visit online at guardianpaininstitute.com. That wraps it up for us for now. We'll be right back after this.